Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is how to can ground beef. So let's get started. So in my two pans I have about 10 pounds of 80-20 ground beef. I have one cup of onion or a little over a cup, probably a cup and a half of onion split between the two pans and I chopped up the onion. So you want to brown the ground beef and drain off any excess grease. And they had a sale on 80-20 ground beef, so I bought 80-20. And it was a cup and a half of chopped onion that I put in the 10 pounds of ground beef. It's optional. You don't have to put onion in. I put it in for flavor. You can see it browning up. Then I'll drain this excess grease. You can see it all right here. For the liquid for the ground beef, I'm going to use beef broth. And I'll show you how much beef broth I pour into the pint jars. Because you want to leave a little head space. This pan is done. You can see it's still a little bit pink in spots. So now I'll take this pot and drain all the excess grease off. This one I'm still cooking in. And here's what the ground beef looks like, draining all the excess grease off. Now I'm browning the last of my ground beef. So this was 15 pounds of ground beef, and it's 80-20. And it would be three and a half cups of chopped onion. And here's the 10 pounds of ground beef that's already browned with the onion in it. Now I have my canner going to get the water nice and hot. This is a pot for my lids so I can sterilize the lids. The jaws are already sterilized, washed, and cleaned. I had them in the dishwasher. So now I have my ground beef, which is drained, and the onion. I have my jars lined up. I have my beef broth that I'll be using. And I also have my vinegar with a clean rag to wipe the rims of the jars before I put the lids on. So let me start filling the jars. Okay, so now I'm going to start filling the jars. The ground beef is a little warm. You want to leave about a half an inch head space. So I'm just placing it in the jars. I'm not packing it in. I'll add in one more tablespoon. You can see how it's filled. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put it off to the side and I'll put the beef broth in all at once. So now I'll keep filling my jars with the ground beef. 
I'm almost down to the last jar because my canner will take eight pint jars. Once I have them filled, then I'll put the beef broth in. And you'll put these in your pressure canner for 75 minutes on 10 pounds of pressure. So I have two 32 ounce containers of beef broth and it's at room temperature. So what I'm going to do is fill this jar, but I want to make sure that I stay about right here with the liquid. And I'm just moving the ground beef around. Once I have all the liquid in these jars, then I'll wipe the rim of them and put the lids on. So now I'll do this jar. Move the ground beef around. The reason why I'm putting the beef broth in with the ground beef is so that you don't have one big clump of ground beef. You want to have loose meat. So now I'm on to my second container and this is 32 ounces. Once you pressure can your ground beef, and like I said, it's 75 minutes under 10 pounds of pressure, you'll see fat at the top here, and that's a good sign. So I'm on to my last jar with the liquid. Now I'll clean the tops of the rim and I'm just using vinegar and a clean rag. You want to make sure they're cleaned really good for a nice seal. You don't want any ground beef on top. So I had my lid sterilizing in hot water. My water in my canner is nice and hot, so now I'm going to put my jars in. Hopefully they don't crack. Well, this is the one that needs it. So now my last jar. I'll put the lid on. So I have my burner on high. I'm going to put my weight on. This is 10 pounds. Once this has a steady rock, then I'll lower the heat to medium. So you want to cook this for 75 minutes once this is a steady rock.
I lowered my stove halfway between high and medium. You want to have a nice steady rock and it's 75 minutes from this nice steady rock. I took all the jars out of the canner. You can see they're still boiling. So far no broken can so everything was done great. I'll let this sit for 24 hours before I mark the date on top. You can hear them popping so that's a good sign. See how nice and loose this ground beef is? So I can use this ground beef in any kind of recipe that I choose. If I wanted meat sauce, I already got it cooked real quick. Homemade sloppy joes. The recipe goes on. If you don't see any fat on the top, that's fine too. Sometimes you see the fat, sometimes you don't. And this is 80-20 ground beef. Well, it's the next day and you can see the fat. Some of the jars you don't see it, but that's okay. So I wiped off all my jars and now I'll put them away. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and Watch Me Can Ground Beef. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.